Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Um, this is Kajin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Kajin, my life, my motherfucking journey. Bitch. What's up, ladies? What's going on? What's the tea? <laughs> I miss you all. Anyway, so I want to talk about. I was a little upset before I left my apartment just now, but um, I'm going to rechannel that energy because when I come on here, I'm in a better mood. Um, the New York State Executive Order and to continue to prevent the spread of COVID-19. All passengers must wear face masks at all times when they set up ferry terminals and while on board sound ferries. Without a mask, you'll be required to leave. So, I'm going to go over here because he does that speaker thing on purpose every time I come up. So, anyway. I am on my way, as you can tell now. I guess I think I couldn't, you know, hide it. I'm in the ferry. I'm on my way to Manhattan. I have an actual um, appointment in the evening. I have an appointment with um, my, oh my God. What the hell is that up there? That is pigeon poop on the uh, windows. That means pigeons are shitting on people. We stand over there. Ooh. That's not good luck. So don't nobody leave no comment about that's good luck. That's bullshit. Literally. Well, pigeon shit. Literally. Anywho. So. I, uh. I am, um. On my way to my electrolysis technician. So. I have a late appointment with her. My appointment is at 7. Um, 7 p.m. and it's for an hour and I think hour and 45 minutes or an hour and a half something like that yeah so basically I'm gonna I'm gonna well basically I have like the numbing cream on me right now and I have because um, you have to prep yourself before you go you have to make sure that the hair is down really 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 low like almost non-existent and you also have to put the numbing cream on like an hour. I always put it on three hours before um, because I don't want to feel no pain down there because it is, it can be a little painful if you're not numb enough. But if you just have, have all that tough skin and down there and you can take it and you're a tough girl or a tough guy, baby, good luck to you. I can't take the pain. I can't take the pain. So, anywho, yeah, so basically. Um, seven, uh, uh, um, seven o'clock, the appointment is, it's, I'm going to be there for an hour and a half, if I can take it, if I can't take it past, um, an hour and a half, um, if I can't take it past an hour, I mean, I'm done, I'm going to just tell her, don't worry about it, hell, use the rest of the time underneath my armpit or some shit, I don't know, I don't grow hair on my face anymore, so, um, like I did that many years ago. Like I've been making my transition now for years. Um, so that was the um, thing. No, but what I wanted to, let me get it off my chest because if I don't get it off my chest, then I'm still gonna be angry about it. So if y'all don't mind, I'm just gonna mention it really quick and then I'm gonna let it go. Um, but my neighbor, I, am, I, I guess the man is really, you know, um, a couple of slices of uh, cheese short of a Lunchable, if you know what I mean. Well, you know the Lunchables and they have little slices of cheese in there, but the crackers, he's about two or three short of the cheese slices of cheese. So, anywho, like, he does things on purpose. Like, last night, it was so bad. He was so annoying last night. He does things to harass me. It's beyond annoying me. He does it to harass me. So, he takes a broom and he's banging on the floor and the ceiling, banging it. So I called up my neighbor, I texted her, I said, come across, and she's another trans girl. This is supposed to be my sister. So I call her over so she can hear, and as soon as I open my door up, she goes, 
I, you don't even have to say nothing, KG. And she said, I hear him right now in the hallway. I hear him. Even when I came out of my apartment to approach you, and I can hear the bang, bang, bang in the hallway before you opened your door. I was like, wow. So if people can hear that out in the hallway, like, what the fuck? So how, you can only imagine what it sounds like to me and to my ears underneath him. So he did this for three hours. Three hours last night. And um, I spoke to management. Um, they said that they would say something to him. This has been going on every single day since I moved in. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I have to file charges. I have to file a complaint. Um, this week, this week I'm going to file a complaint against him. And I'm going to take it further than that, though, because it's been going on for a while. So I found out that I can legally sue him. I can take him to court and actually sue him, girl. So I'm definitely going to sue him for the noise, um, for not being able to have a peace of mind and disturbing me in my own apartment. Yeah, I could sue him. I can legally sue him. So anyway, um, um, Friday, yeah, Friday I have to be back in Manhattan. Saturday I go to work. Uh, Friday, I have to be back in Manhattan early, before work, I have to go to a place because there was a young man who hit me up on Facebook and my messenger, and he was telling me about his organization, and he knows that I have Kijin's Outreach for the Homeless, a foundation that I started that is mine something it's going to be it's my legacy it's something that I'm leaving behind when I leave this earth you know helping people that's something that I've always done it's just that now I'm doing it on a broader scale than I've always done so I'm always looking for donations for my um, outreach um, it's called Kijin's Outreach for the Homeless it's a link in some of the um, thing here, I'll add another link to the video if you want, please donate um, it's for people to get, homeless people so I can give them hygiene products um, PPE kits um, snacks, water because a lot of them, like I said before they're not going to go in the shelter there's nothing that we could do about it to make them I can talk to them and put them on video and ask them why and they'll give you with it they'll give you a million different reasons why but it's their choice. I can't force them to go. I could call 311, you know, and have them come out. But I don't feel right calling, like, the cops or whatever to come and get them. So that's not right. So I just, mm -mm. especially now, I'm not calling the cops on nobody, especially if they're a black man or a black woman. Not going to happen. Um, unless, you know, of course, motherfucker is harassing me like this motherfucker upstairs which I'm going to go and file a complaint. That's to, for me to protect myself. But um, you get what I'm saying. Anywho, so this young man who, owns, who has his own organization, he hit me up because he knows that I'm, I'm doing the work um, in my community. Um, and he decided to offer and extend a hand. Like, I don't know him from Adam, but he offered to give me boxes of, um, well, according to his employee or, 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 or co, co-worker, I think. I don't know. I don't know their situation. Yet, but the lady that I spoke to, the young lady that I spoke to yesterday, she said that there's boxes of stuff that I, gotta t I got that's going to be given to me and that I need to come prepared on Friday to um, pick up all these things. So I am going to bring two... Um, luggage, two luggages <laughs> with wheels on them, and they load them up because that's a blessing, man. That is a blessing. Somebody's actually caring enough to donate to my organization to help homeless people, to help more people, so I can give out IG products. I ran into a, a young woman the other night when I was um, I was out. I think I was out just uh, at the store or whatever. And she asked me um, for money, and I don't get out money, but I told her I'd take you in the store and buy you something. And she said, to me, her name is um, Stacy, by the way. And Stacy says to me, um, well, you know, um, I don't, um, 
have good hygiene. Well, how did she put it? She said, they won't let me go in the store because of my hygiene. And I'm just thinking, oh my God, like really? Oh, wow. Like it, it hurt my heart to hear her say that. Because, and I, I asked her, I was like, well, what's, I, I didn't smell her, you know? Uh, I don't know what her hygiene issue was, but she said it was because of her hygiene. So I just wanted to know what her hygiene, what's the, um, what's the issue with her hygiene? And, and she, I said, listen, I'm gonna be back through here. And I didn't know where I was going to get these donations from. I swear to you, when I told her that, I was going to have to buy stuff out of my own cash and bring it up here because I had ran out of products. I had ran out of everything of my own. I mean, because I'm, I'm used to buying everything on my own. Nobody's really, I think, like I said, there was three people who donated to the program. Um, so he is offering me um, a lot of... Um, 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 toiletries um, for them. So I'm definitely going to go Friday and pick those up and it's in the Bronx. That's a blessing, man. That is a blessing. That warm my heart. I literally had tears coming out of my eyes when I was reading what he was saying to me and I was, you know, when he was writing it and I'm just like, I'm crying because I don't know if I was just hormonal <laughs> or if I was just emotional because I couldn't believe somebody is actually helping me to help other people, you know? There's some good people out here, especially, um, within our community. You just have to find out who they are, you know. Um, yeah, so that was a blessing, and I can't wait to pick those things up. I was supposed to pick them up today, but it would have been too much to travel all the way to the Bronx. Um, let's see, travel all the way to the Bronx with two suitcases and some reusable bags by myself. Fill those two suitcases up as much as I can or whatever. Because according to Jessica, it was going to be a lot that I was going to need a shopping cart plus reusable bags. So I was like, I'm not going to bring my friend's shopping cart. That's a little hood for me. Um, all the way to the Bronx and all the way back. No, we're going to take, I'm going to bring my luggage. So I brought my luggage. I packed, unpacked it the other night and I uh, cleaned them out. And I'm going to carry those. They have wheels on them too and stuff. So this is great. Um... And they have little locks on them. So, yeah. Um, anyway, it would have been a lot traveling all the way to the Bronx from Staten Island because it's pretty far. And I'm by myself. So, yeah. So, basically, um, I would have had to go there today. If I was going to go today, which I wanted to do, but if I had went today, I would have had to go all the way to the Bronx get the things really early because they close at three. They, they're open from eight to three. Um, and I would have had to get them early and then hang out with these heavy suitcases, dragging them around the city all day long in the heat by myself until my appointment at seven o'clock at night. That, that's just too much. So I knew that I had to work Friday evening. So I figured I can go early. Friday morning, Friday afternoon or whatever, you know, go and all the way to the Bronx, pick up those things and bring them home and then um, go to work from there. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy and I'm excited about that. I'm very excited about that. Um, I love helping people. So this, this is, this is perfect for me. I don't know what that clicking sound is, but I want to get away from it. And there's a pigeon. I know y'all can't see it, but it's sitting up there. It's all the way up there. And it's sitting on a pipe. And there's a pigeon ship. So I'm not